Welcome back to the show. Uh, I, uh, we used to talk when you used to come on late night, and you used to say, like, yeah, I'm going to be going to space one day. I'm going to go to space. And, and you're doing it now. You did it. Um, yeah, it was uh, many years, I think, we did interviews, and I would go, next year, next year, next year. But anyway, fi finally it happened. And, uh, Here you are in space. Uh, yeah, it was... Uh, um, <laughs> you said you were going to do it, and then you did it. No, oh. it, was, it was the most extraordinary day of my life, and and uh, and it was a real uh, pinch me pinch me moment. And no. uh, it, it's just, um, uh, I hope all of you one day have the chance to go to space, and that that's our challenge. No, I mean, you think that do you think that will there will come a day where that? Well, I think uh, you know we're building a number of spaceships, another number of motherships, and um, uh, and there are, there are others trying to do the same thing, and and I think. In time, the price will come down so that, you know, hopefully more there and more people, people will have a chance. But um, it'll, be, it'll be a number, a number of years before a lot of people have what, a chance. What was your takeaway? Were you scared at all? Do you know, I wasn't scared for one second of the, uh, of the whole day. I just was so, so looking forward to it. And um, I had my kids and grandkids there, and uh, it was just a dream come true. The Virgin Group does so many different things. You do, uh, you go to space, you have hotels, you have... Uh, cruise ships. How do you decide what is the thing you're going to be into? Gen next? Generally out of frustration. I mean, if I, uh, I mean, you know, the, w the way I started Virgin Atlantic nearly 40 years ago was I was uh, trying to get to the Virgin Islands. I got bumped off a flight. Um, I went to the back of the airport and hired a plane. I went, got a blackboard. I wrote as a joke, Virgin Airlines one way, $39 to the B British Virgin Islands. Went out to all the passengers that got bumped, and I filled up my first plane. Um, <laughs> and, That's um, <laughs> easy as that. Now you have your own airline. How many okay. years ago was that? That was 39, 39 years ago. 39 years and, ago, yeah, and, still uh, going the strong. Next, the next day rang Boeing and asked, asked if they had any second-hand 747s for sale. <laughs> um, but this whole thing, I've read your, uh, your story, and uh, it's a fascinating story, but uh, from what I remember, I think this whole thing started with a necklace that your mother found. Yeah, I was just trying to start a magazine to campaign against the Vietnamese War, which, uh, like most wars, I thought was a very unjust war. And, um, and, um, uh, and I was, yeah, 15 going on 16. I was working from the school phone box, and my mum found a necklace because um, uh, like, we didn't have much money. She handed it to the police. Nobody claimed it. Um, and I was given by my mum the $200 uh, to use for, in the phone box to try to get the advertising to start the magazine. And, uh, and that was, you know, that was really our complete funding to, you know, build the magazine, then to start building Virgin Records. And, Virgin Records. And one thing led on to another. Yeah. Um, and so wow. I'm very grateful to my mum. Thank you, mum. Yeah, and, exactly, and, yeah. And, <laughs> that's wild. There. So and now, whoever lost it, whoever, whoever was good enough whoever to lose their necklace. necklace. Yeah, exactly, right. Uh, so now let's talk about the, uh, the hotel here in New York. Yeah, I mean, Virgin's been flying to New York. Um, I mean, we, we, we have uh, maybe 12 flights a day to New York. It's and the most fun airline. It's well, thank the best. You. The they, colors are fun. No. Everything's cool about it. You go, yeah, yeah, I always loved it. Well, thank you. And, and, and when people get off the plane, they, they, they have to go to a dark and dingy hotels, which I'm afraid quite a lot of the hotels in New York are. Some, there are some good ones. And so we thought we'd, <laughs> we thought we'd open a, one with you know, massive windows in every room, beautiful views of you know, the Empire State Building and the rest of New York, and um, did it with a delightful man called John Lamb. And, um, and we're very, very, very happy the way it's turned out. Would you, would you open it? Uh, is on Broadway um, yeah. and it's just off Times Square, which where we've had quite a lot of history with, you know, Virgin megastores and, and, and other things. Yeah. And I know you had the cast of New York, New York. We had the cast uh, out on the street today. Um, we rang out the police and said, look, would you mind closing the street while we've got, we've got the cast from New York? So New like, York we're a little coming. busy today closing um, the streets uh, <laughs> of all days. <laughs> What, no, what, tomorrow what, we'll do it. Why what, today? What they, what they said was, we've had to close the rest of New York, so what's one more? <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. That's yeah. funny, that's so, great. So they gave us permission. Uh, that's, that's great. Well, congratulations on the new hotel, and uh, we always love having you here. You're such a Thank great you. uh, spirit. Good, Good to see you, buddy. Thank you. Sir Richard Branson, Virgin Hotels, New York City, is officially open now. For more information, go to virginhotels.com slash NYC. More Tonight Show after the break. Stick around, everybody. Hey, hey.